Hey guys, Adrian here from Your Property Wealth. Today I'm going to be revealing our top five negotiation tips when it comes to purchasing property. Now listen up here guys, because these five tips are going to give you the unfair advantage when it comes to purchasing your next property. The days are gone where the standover technique actually works in negotiating. Like our friends here, the Sopranos, it's actually no longer effective. These days, you need to be empathetic, you need to be reasonable, and actually quite strategic when you go into negotiating. Which brings me to tip number one, understanding the motive behind the sale. Are the vendors downsizing? Are they going through a divorce? Are they moving or upsizing? Are they quite desperate to sell? Can they take their time? You need to get crystal clear on the motive behind the sale, and then use this as bargaining power. But remember, don't go with the standover technique. Use empathy, use love, use care, and work with the agent to actually find out the motive. Tip number two, showing no emotion. Going back to our friend Tony, who was very good at this, we want to adopt this skill, okay? Showing emotion, can actually be very detrimental to your property purchase and how much you end up purchasing before. The agent will know that you're actually emotionally attached. They'll pull on those strings, which will cause you to overpay and do anything to secure the home. Showing no emotion allows you to detach yourself and actually puts the ball back into your room. Tip number three when negotiating on property is understanding the property itself. You want to do your research on the property and you want to look out for things like whether the property's been lived like by banks, whether it has easements from it, whether the property's heritage listed, any damages, issues, cracks. You want to use all these as bargaining power. You make sure that you let the agent know that you're aware of these defects and that it's actually going to cost you money in the long run if you were going out and purchase that property. Tip number four is using comparable sales. Now, much like I mentioned in, in tip number one, you need to be very strategic. You need to make sure that you do your homework. I want you to find two to three similar properties to the one you're looking at that have been sold in the last three months for a figure that you'd be willing to pay for the new property. Now, mention this to the agent. Go to the realm of showing the agent exactly the addresses of these properties that are sold. And that means that you're educated, you've done your research, it actually gives you evidence as to why you're giving an offer of that certain amount. The fifth and final step to negotiating on property is settlement date terms. This goes back to the basic fundamentals of negotiation, showing empathy and also letting the other party in on some wins. Let me explain. Going back to tip number one, understanding the motive behind the sale, this is where you'll find out the information of how long the settlement terms are for the vendor. Okay, now, I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say that the vendor is wanting 30 day settlement term. Whatever that number is, you wanna almost say the opposite. So, when it comes time to discussing and negotiating with the agent, and he tells you the vendor wants 30 day settlement, you say, I want 90 day settlement, and almost leave the conversation at that. Next time, you have that discussion with the agent. You tell him, I understand that the vendor wants 30 day settlement. I do, and as you know, I need 90. However, I'm able and, and willing to meet the 30 days. This then gives the agent and the vendor that little mini win, and also when it comes to time that you state your figure on how much you're willing to pay, they're much more likely to reciprocate and give you back Thank you so much for watching the video today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope that you found value in the video. And go ahead and use these tools. That, that They do work. They do work. Um, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can find us at Your Property Wealth, okay? where we give a whole bunch of market updates, uh, a hell of a lot of valuable content and videos like this. Okay? Uh, and if you have any questions, please flick me an email, adrian at yourpropertywealth.ltd. And kind of a, yeah, maybe a six, a six tip. If you see these guys, run the other way. Don't stay. Take care, guys. See you on the next video.